Urbend 3215 folder brought to you exclusively by Mac Tech. The MFC 3215 is a 10 and a half foot bending area by 16 gauge folder. We've got some very nice extra options that we bundle these with. Our stock MFC 3215 comes standard with manual crowning, two folding beams, a 10 millimeter and a 25 millimeter though you do have your choice of sizes. A three position pedal for operating the machine, a touch screen controller, a manual A access adjustment on both the right and the left side of the folder, and a 750 millimeter motorized back gauge. At MacTech, we like to stock the controller as a 2D touch screen, and we also like to include a full meter or 1,000 millimeter back gauge for bigger projects and greater support of material on the back of the folder. Safety is always important and on the minds with urban machines, so all machines come standard with a safety beam on the bottom so that the leg cannot enter into the path of the folding beam while it's moving up or down without the beam stopping. Also notice there are three e-stops on the folder, two on the front columns, and then of course one on the controller. Speaking of the controller, all of our machines have their controllers mounted on a swivel so that you're able to move it wherever needed when operating the machine and can even be brought around to the back to operate for our larger jobs from the back of the folder. The three pedal switch would just be slid to the back of the folder and you can operate it from there just as easily. The MFC 3215, like all urban folders, are powered with 480 volt, three phase power. What that does is allows all of the folders to operate at an incredibly efficient level of amps, which is what you pay for. The MFC itself runs between six and seven amps. Less amps than your local space heater or curling iron. Inside the control cabinet, you'll see some very familiar names, anywhere from SCW Euro drives on the drives, all the way down to the terminal blocks made by Wago here in Wisconsin. Idea being, we try to make sure as many parts are easily sourceable in the United States as possible. With all urban folders from MacTech, setup and training is included, so we're not going to just dump the machine there at your door and hope for the best. We come in and we ask you to hook up the electricity and anchor the machine. We will level and then base our training on what your applications are so that the machine is actually going to production and create parts for you during the training process. Speaking of applications, let's see how easy it is to run a simple job on the Urban MFC 3215 brought to you by Mac Tech. Once we turn the machine on, we've logged in. What we're going to do is have it re-reference itself. So I'm going to hit the reset button, which we always have to do when it's coming on fresh. And as you can see, now the back gauge is moving all the way back to the home position. Basically what it does, it comes all the way back to the home. Make sure it's at zero so that as it moves forward, every measurement that we put in is precise. Once we've done that, simply go to the menu. I'll say production, and I'm just gonna simply set up a job. So the first thing I do is hit new, give the job a title. We'll call it MMMMM for Mac Tech. I'll quickly give it my material thickness. This is 26 gauge, so it's 0.0179. At this point, we're ready to more or less start our job or go into production. So I'm gonna just simply go in and make a quick drip edge. We'll set our back cage position. I'm gonna do an angle, set a back cage position of five inches. We'll do 135 degree bend because we're gonna to wanna to get a good bend in place so that when we go to crush this hem, there's not a huge distance that's coming down. Our next step, I'm gonna go ahead and tell it we do wanna flatten our hem out. So I'm actually gonna bring this out a little bit to help create a nice teardrop and a nice close on our hem. So I will hit enter and then we'll want to have a nice little kick out at 3.5 inches and we'll do a 35 degree angle and the last thing we'll do is a nice reverse 90 for mounting this onto a house so we'll say that we're going to be at two inches and we're going to do a 90 and we'll hit enter at this point we're ready to go ahead and run our job so i'll press the green button and you'll see what will happen is the controller is going to tell me exactly what to do to create this first second and third pedal the first pedal is illuminated in green so that will be our first step. So I'll take my material. I'm gonna push it up against the back edge. And there it is. You can see I can't move it any further. I'll step back. We'll close down on the material. I've closed all the way, so it's now telling me to go ahead and make my bend by hitting my second step. So we've now made a nice sharp end. It's gonna lift up, and now I'm gonna push that back in because it's gonna come down and crush our piece. So we go back to our first step. And you'll notice it stops at 3 eighths of an inch. This is a safety precaution, so no fingers are crushed in the process 
of setting a job up. So now we're gonna go ahead and put our hem down. And there you have a nice flat hem. And you'll see we have no gaps whatsoever. Nice and flat. We've got a tiny teardrop here. Creates a nice smooth edge. Now we're just gonna simply put our kick out in. So the back edge has moved up a little bit more. And we'll go up against that. And again, we'll follow our controller. And it's telling us to go ahead, press all the way down, do our 35 degree kick out. I like that. And now it's pushed it back out and we're gonna do our 45. So we can now mount this. Again, it's telling us to put the first step in second to hold it in place, third to bend, and there is our very nice 35 degree drip edge. With a beautiful, smooth, closed hem along the back, and a beautiful teardrop creating a nice, smooth, curved edge. And that is how easy it is to operate the Urban MFC 3250 brought to you by MacTech, making your job simpler. To find out more about the Urban MFC 3215 or any of the Urban folders or shears, please reach out to us at MacTech, either at mac-tech.com or call us at 414-486-9700. We're waiting to talk to you.